warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And here we have Atletico Madrid against Panathinaikos. This is Peter Drury, and next to me, providing insights, will be Jim Beglin. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. imagination to guess what would have happened otherwise. Okay. And it's Essien. Looks like a good ball through. Essien. He's in! Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Griezmann. Throw in. Atletico Madrid still to register a shot on target. Chip through and through to the goalkeeper. Promising run he's making on the right. Uh, needed a better pass there. It's on a plate. Fernando Torres. Goal! Atletico Madrid! Atletico Madrid take the lead! Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Yeah, I've got great admiration for the finish, but I've even more admiration for the pass that set it up. It was delicious. Atletico Madrid draw first blood here. Look, we know they're in control now, but they can't let their concentration drop, not one bit. So they got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. Pass. Ibabo! Terrific from Segundo Ibabo! Panathinaikos are back in business! Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal.
That has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. defending but that'll do that really should have hit the net well he caught that one right on the meat cracking effort he's got it and he's got time well he would surely have scored there more times than not the end. Griezmann. Okay. Looks to slip it through. He scored! And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Atletico Madrid take the lead. Griezmann. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Close shave and the last action of the first half. Atletico Madrid head into the half-time break with a narrow advantage. It is 2-1. And we're off again. Koke pumps it upfield. Cuts it out. And it's Fernando Torres. Now it's Griezmann. Griezmann with the ball through. Fernando Torres. Torreira Carrasco. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Atletico Madrid being made to look sloppy in possession here. Torres. Fernando Torres can't hurt you with his back to goal, and I think if they could keep him facing in that direction, then the only thing he can do really is to just lay the ball off, and, and he's not really going to cause much trouble if he continues doing that, so I think they're defending him very, very well. Segundo Ibarbo has made his impact already. So what now? It was hard to see any better outcome there. Was on the back foot, tries a through ball, and he's there to cut it out. It's come loose. 
Ferreira Carrasco delivers. He's dealt with that well. Essien. De Barbo. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Griezmann. Gabby. The ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. to switch the play. Just five minutes remaining now. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Who's going to make this theirs? They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Into stoppage time, they must make something of this. Comes forwards. That will be the final act. Atletico Madrid come out on top. Hard fought, impossible to predict. In the end, though, only the result mattered. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Look, they've got to be happy with what they've produced here because they showed plenty of industry and I think they've ended up getting what they deserve. Well, thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening.